welcome 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 back to my channel on today i will show you how to make a fabulous 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 yeah. oxtail do not mind my granddaughter as you can see we have our oxtail it's nice and trimmed i removed the majority of the fat off of it and also i have it sitting in fresh lime i didn't have fresh um sour orange so i use this one here and also we have some salt in here. So it's been sitting in here for about, I will say 10 to 15 minutes. So now what I will do is go ahead and rinse it off to remove all of the salt, all of the orange, um, the sour orange and the fresh lime juice. Okay, we're gonna get this nice and clean, then I come back. All right, our meat is nice and clean. And I forgot to mention, I did have a little bit of white vinegar in the mix also just a little bit all right and i also forgot to mention um you have to take the lime and rub it over every piece of meat to make sure it's nice and clean all right so now what i will do is add our seasoning um let's start off with some black pepper and i like the fresh ground black pepper sorry about the shake Okay, that's good. All right. I'm going to add some of my Haitian Ippies. So I'm going to add about that much. Uh, I always add just a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. And my Ippies is nice and flavorful. So you want to be careful not to add too much seasoning. Now I'm going to add my seasoning. I have just a little bit of the season package, but this one um, is the non-MSG one. I have some salt and some chicken um, seasoning. So you can use any chicken seasoning. If you use Maggie, you can go ahead and add your Maggie in. I will also add in some cloves. I have some minced garlic here i'm gonna go ahead and add the whole thing okay and also i want to add back some of our fresh orange well not fresh but i have this sour orange i'm going to add just a little bit of the sour orange not a lot this should be about good like that and I will also squeeze some fresh lime in here. Not much. That should do. Now this is a mixture that I make. Um, it has a taste like a it tastes like an A1 A sauce, but it's not. This is just um some Worcestershire and some ketchup guys all right and it will add a fabulous taste to your oxtail you would not even know it's there trust me okay. so once your meat is mixed um nice and beautiful smells amazing now I'm gonna add my scotch bonnet and that's the real scotch bonnet okay I don't I, every now and then I could find it um, I have also some fresh thyme and some fresh parsley and if you can't get your hands on some fresh um, scotch bonnets then you probably want to find any one of these hot sauce that says scotch bonnet when you open it and smell it, it smells like the scotch bonnet. You can use that. I always have this on hand just in case I'm not able to find the fresh one. So we're going to allow this to marinate um, for about, I would say, an hour. Or you don't even have to allow it to marinate. Trust me, it's going to still be delicious. All right. To our pot, our meat has been marinating for about an hour and a half now 
So I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil to our oil. I'm gonna add some tomato paste. Sorry about the noise. And a little bit more. And we're gonna give our tomato, we're gonna give our oxtail a little color. And my stove is on high. So you want to allow this to cook to remove the rawness. If you don't want to use tomato paste, that's fine. You can use um, browning. Or you just add a little sugar to the oil and give your meat brown, uh, the brown color you're looking for. Okay? I don't mind tomato paste. I use um, the organic one. That's fine. So now we're going to take our seasoned meat. I'm going to remove the thyme and all this other stuff. I'm going to add it to the pot like this. Now you're going to stir your meat inside of the tomato paste. You know what? Let me grab this is hot. Oh. Okay. And you're going to allow this to get brown. Let it fry in the oil and tomato paste. Once I coat it with it. I mean, there's a million and one ways you can do this. I mean, I could allow it to boil down first and then do this step, but I just want to go ahead and get it over with. So I do it first. So this way, once it's cooked, I'm done. We're going to let it fry inside of the oil. And then I'll come back and show you. All right, guys. I've been giving it a color. See how beautiful this is? And if you notice, it's kind of dark on the bottom so what I do is every now and then when it gets like that you just want to add just a little bit of liquid and scrape the bottom and then just stir your meat in there like that and that's what's going to help color it okay so this color is perfect for me see how beautiful that is so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just add some of our liquid. And so on the side, you wanna add some water, just enough water to cover your oxtail. You know I'm at was at the rest because I want a lot of sauce. And what I did is the same bowl that I seasoned it in. I just add water to it so I can pick up all of the remainder of the seasoning. Okay. So now you're going to allow it to come to a boil because I have it on high. And once it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce it to a number two. And we're going to cook this until nice and tender for maybe about an hour and a half. And we're going to add back our thyme and our parsley. And you could go ahead and tie those together. But... As if you've been watching my videos for a while, I do not tie it. I just let it float in there. And also, you add your scotch bonnet. And you cover it and allow it to simmer. All right? So I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's almost done. All right, guys. Our oxtail has been cooking for about two hours. I'm going to go ahead and remove our scotch bonnet. See how beautiful this is? Guys, do you see the color on this? It is beautiful and it is nice and tender. So now you want to go ahead and add your red and green peppers. 
add your onions like this and just put the lid on all right guys here is our fabulous 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 oxtail it is nice and tasty y'all i will serve it with my rice and sweet plantains until next time please like comment and do not forget to subscribe delicious